Good morning, Bobcats. It's Miss Kilpatrick, and it's Monday morning. You know we're going to have that Monday morning meeting because we have to set the tone and the expectation for the week. So, boys and girls, grab your parents so they can be involved, too. All right, let's tell them what do we have to be to be our boy best? Be brilliant, be exceptional, be studious, and be timely. That's right, even while we're at home, being safe from the coronavirus. Boys and girls, each and every day, I want to make sure that you're your boy best. And you can do that by logging on to the school website, clicking on the little circle that says school to home assignments, or going on to my backpack, or using the packets that your, your teacher sent home with you. Work on those every day. They're going to review the lessons that we previously taught, and they're going to extend some learning so we don't lose any time when it comes to our learning. Because we work very hard, haven't we? I know we have. We're exceeding our targets, and I want to make sure that we continue to do so. Remember, you need to be reading every single day and practicing those math facts. They're very important, too. Just in case you didn't bring any books home and you don't know how to get on the Mayon, and you don't know how to use your AR, which I know all of you do, and you just want someone to read you a story, there are going to be some special people who are going to come on IG Live or our YouTube site so that you can have a story read to you every day. I brought some of my books home, and this is my personal book, Horton Hears a Who. I think I can remember this one. I was about your age. But we'll read it together and discover what Dr. Seuss had to say about Horton and if he really hears a who. All right, boys and girls, I want to make sure that you're your boy best. Remember, each day, go on to the school website and click on the circle that says school to home assignments or go on to my backpack. Also, look out for announcements for, from the school about what time people are going to come on to the IG Live to read or do a math lesson or do SEL or when it's going to be on the YouTube channel. All right, boys and girls, I am counting on you to be your boy best while we're not at school. And I know you are because you're my boy babies and I love you, all right? If you need anything, just let us know. You'll know we'll be there, okay? Have a great day and stay engaged. Good afternoon, boy Bobcat. Wow, this has been a crazy, crazy week. There's a lot going on in the news, and I know some of you are so overwhelmed, nervous, and maybe even scared, but this is Counselor Copeland here telling you, don't forget what we've been learning all year long, mindfulness and our breathing exercises. Over the next couple of days, I will come on every day and remind you of some breathing exercises and some mindfulness tips that can help you get through this crazy time. But always remember, even though we're not in the physical school building, continue to be your boy best at home. Good morning, William and Boyd from the Lit Squad. It's me, Miss White, and I have a lit moment for you. Did you know that you can be reading each and every day? That's right, Bobcats. We expect you to log on to Mayon, select your story, and take the quiz. Accelerated Reader is available for you too. So if you're reading books that you brought home, don't forget to take your AR quiz and watch your flower grow. Bobcats, don't stop your reading with the books that you brought home or on my own. You can read anything that you have at home. Stuff from your own personal library, magazines, newspapers. You can even read the back of the cereal box. Don't read just to yourself, but read to others. Parents, as your kids are reading to you, ask them questions. Why did you like this book? Why do you think the author wrote this book? How can we change what the characters are like in this book? What are the characters like in this book? What genre is this story? Let them ask you questions about the book. This is a family affair and we're so thankful and grateful for you. Bobcats, don't forget our motto, stop, drop, everybody read, don't stop. That's your lit moment, and we hope you have a fantastic week. Good morning, Bobcats. This is Miss Underdue coming to you with a math moment for all you mathletes. 
So I have a game for you that you can do at home with only a deck of playing cards. And if you don't have a deck of playing cards, don't worry about it. You can use index cards or fold up some paper and cut it out. So as you can see on my board, I have some jokers and I have an ace. My jokers are gonna be worth no points and my ace is gonna be worth one. I do have my face cards over here to the side. I'll tell you what you can do with those in a moment. So this is try to make 10. So we're gonna use this for our K through two students. We're trying to make 10. You can do this by yourself or with a partner. So the goal is to try to clear this board and make 10 as many times as possible. So what you notice is I see I have an eight and a two. I just made 10. Uh, I also have a 10 and a joker, which is zero. I've also made 10. So pretty easy, right? But if I wanna clear this board a little bit faster, let's say I can do a seven, a two, and a one, I've made 10. Now, if we wanna make it a little bit more challenging, we can also make 10 by subtracting. So let's say our jack is gonna be 11, our queen is gonna be 12, our king is gonna be 13, and we wanna to try to make 10. So I can take my king, which is 13, minus my three, now I have 10. Here's a more activity for you to try with your parents. Enjoy, and I'll see you on the next math moment.